YouTube, welcome. Come to Mikasa. Come inside, don't be shy. We are at Medellin, Colombia. Mara couldn't join me in this trip, so I have my friend Rich to come and protect me, my bodyguard. Say what's up, Rich. And we're here for a few days in El Poblado. So we have the living room here. Got a balcony, I'll show you the balcony view in a, in a sec. I have the uh, bathroom here. I got a bedroom, this is where I'm gonna be staying. All right, got a nice, the, the balcony extends, which is cool. And then another bedroom where my friend's staying at, and then a bathroom. And it costs about 350, the beautiful view. Look at the sun, nice view of the city. I like all the greenery here with all the trees. To all my Mara lovers out there, my girlfriend will be in the next trip, so don't you worry. I got my friend with me to make sure I stay out of trouble. I heard a lot of good things about this country. I don't know if you've heard of uh, Narcos, the TV show, and Entourage. If you guys are familiar with those two TV shows, you know you have to come here and check out Medellin. I didn't bring uh, uh, my wallet. I bought this online. All right, ain't nobody gonna be pickpocketing me here in this country, I'll tell you that. All right, this is not a paid advertising, okay? Go Google something like this, all right? You put your cash here. I went to the ATM, got some cash, some Colombian pesos, and then I'm gonna put my phone here. Let me see someone try to, you know, take my goods now, like that. All right, bam. All right, no phone, I need my phone, right? I need my girlfriend to call me, right? That's it. Styling, profiling, let's go. Let's start the day now. The weather's really nice. Yeah, the one uh, regret I have uh, coming here is I wish I took Spanish more seriously when I was in college. I did not get to do that. Learning Spanish would have been a valuable skill to have coming here because it's just easy to, it's easier to communicate with the locals, but I know un poquito. I might as well make use of the gym while we're here, right? Oh man, you think I can do it? Uh, two, three, four, five. I need to throw up some heavier weights, light. There's nobody on the street right now because everyone seems to be asleep. It's around 10 a.m. This is perfect because when it's overcrowded, it gets kind of chaotic and it'll be hard to film, right? So I like how I have the streets all to myself. I couldn't film in there and talk at the same time because of the music. I spent about 250,000 pesos, which is equivalent to 50 US dollars, roughly. One latte, one cappuccino, biscotti, croissant. And man, that was delicious. Before we go, Parque Liras is here. This is the famous park in this area. Everybody's winding down. You see this homeboy over here, he's relaxing. He's like, I need to, you know, chill out. I want a sugar cane drink right now. That's what I'm craving. Like, I don't know about you, bro, but that's where we need to go.
about to get some arepas. Trying to find a nice spot. Made it to Las Chachas. We'll try the famous arepas. I'm excited. My mouth is foaming because I can smell everything. It looks delicious. Only six pesos, plumbing pesos. Look at this beauty. Here's corn flour and guadada cheese. in New York in you know, almost every single food video because that's where I'm from. First empanada here in Colombia. Yeah, I gotta go hard. The first bite better be the best bite. Potato. I think we're close. I know we're right by the bridge, so I know it should be around here. All right, I was asking the lady for some directions. Uh, so I think my phone is almost dead, and uh, my friend doesn't have service. So she was really sweet, and she said that we should go up. Cause I wanted to see more of like. You know, the artifacts and the culture and the statues. So they're whistling right now because they're trying to notify other people that a, a tourist is here. That's what I noticed. After a long 20 minute walk, we made it to Plaza Botero. As you can see here, there's about 25 different statues here from the artist Fernando Bordero. Very cool designs. I have a bunch of, like, each design is very unique and very similar at the same time. Definitely worth the 20 minute walk, for sure. His signature style is called the Boterismo, which depicts the sculptures in large exaggerated volumes. Which can be shown as political humor, depending on which piece we're talking about. So we got a famous drink called the Sanduro drink. Let's give it a taste test here, let's see what it tastes like. Alright, off rip, mango. Right, there's some mango here. Banana. Right, it's very nutritious. This is like, um, have you guys ever had Indian food? Uh, mango lassi. It's like one of those drinks. I can compare that to this. Finally trying the famous sugar cane drink. My man hooked it up. Cheers, bro. What's your first thoughts? Sweet, 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 right? Sweet. Yeah. Good, good, good. The amount of times I've been ice grilled and almost robbed here, I can't even tell you. So I was walking, right, a few times? Two, three 
two different occasions. People are like, random people. This is like me away from my friend. The amount of interactions I'm getting from random people just trying to talk to me and then like touch me is insane. Out of all the countries I've been to so far. In my work, I, I can't to practice, practice yeah. Time. <laughs> yeah, the best way to learn language is obviously to speak it more, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the more you speak it, the better you get it. I know, I'm like, I need to really speak, learn how to speak Spanish. My Espanol is very bad. Uh, so, I, I, that's my goal, is to learn uh, Spanish. I want to learn Spanish. And the Costeños. Costeños. The people that live near to, to sea. Yes. Yeah. So the more people in these uh, city areas and then the indigenous areas, like more of like uh, the outskirts of Colombia, they speak differently. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the different form? Form, of, yeah. Of a speak. Different tongue, right? Yeah. Mm. It's a Spanish. <laughs> Spanish, yeah, it's Spanish, but it's different. Mm. Guys, it's nighttime. We made it to Mondongos here in El Poblado. Gonna try Colombian beer. Taste test time. I know, terrible pour. You know what? Fix the damn pour. See if I can salvage this. Nice Colombian beer. We have the traditional dish, bandeja paisa. Avocado, banana, uh, chicharron, uh, plantains, ground beef, sunny side egg, and a potato. And of course, some beans. Plantains from my Dominicans, platanos. Forget about you guys. Oh my god, what's just happening right now? I wanna like put everything together on the plate. The chicharron is crispy, seasoned really well. The fat is uh, rendered. Do a taste test. How is it? Delicioso. Delicioso, look at you, Spanish already improved? What, what, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Avocado. See, yours is mixed in. And mine is like separated. What you think of the beer? Un no momento. Un oh, momento. Oh, you... Stop trying to flex like you know Spanish. Like let's let's be serious. Thoughts? Delicioso. Delicioso. So just came back home from dinner. I thought we would go out. Did not happen. I'm extremely tired from walking all day, and the food got me really full. The food was incredible. Medellin is absolutely beautiful. If you guys stay tuned to the end of this video, I really appreciate your support. Thanks for always supporting uh, Mara and I. We highly appreciate it. Early morning, we have Pablo Escobar tour. Stay tuned for that. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Peace.